with skateboarding, it became such a, like, there was, there was no question whether to do it or not. It just became like, it was like everything. My name is Drew Bernard and I am a small business owner and a painter, figurative painter, and a sometimes now, maybe never skateboarder. The art that I do is figurative, a lot of portraiture, um, just people, people, sometimes animals, but I'm interested in sentient beings because for me, I feel there's some sort of essence behind eyes and inside of us that we can capture and sort of transmit to each other. And I've seen a lot of my friends and other skateboarders and professional skateboarders become really accomplished artists because of that grounding in the skateboarding translates then into the art. And what you can learn from skateboarding, what you can take away and what you can apply to all sorts of things is just really helpful, I think, um, to be able to uh, express yourself in dynamic ways and also to excel at things too. Because a huge part of skateboarding and what separated sort of the, the skateboarders from those who just sort of like dallied in it or whatever when we were young are like, you had to be willing to eat shit. Like you had to be willing to fall. Because that was like 90% of it at first is falling and getting up and, and going again. So that thing with art, it's like, and anything is you can't be afraid to fail in life in general. It's such a cliche, but it's so true. You have to really put yourself out there and you cannot be afraid to make a fool of yourself, to fail, to do shitty work. So yeah, I definitely think they're, it, they translate well to each other. People who wanted an easy street back in the day didn't stay with skateboarding. Because like, like you said, it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard thing to do, it was hard. And that was where some of the joy came out of it, like, that, like putting in hard work, working hard at it. And same with painting, it's like some of the joy that comes from painting is that it's freaking hard. It's hard. Like people who stuck with skateboarding and got good at it, they enjoy the challenge. And any type of art, it's challenging because you, you want to evolve as, as an artist. So I think any artist worth their salt is trying to challenge themselves to get better. I just finished up my last art show, uh, my most recent art show at uh, Irene's, and it went really well. I got a lot of positive feedback. I sold uh, a bunch of paintings. In particular, I sold the Joe Buffalo painting, which I'm really happy about. Joe Buffalo is a, a powerhouse that I met at Glebe High School. We both were skateboarders, and, and uh, even years later when people ask me, who's your favorite skater? I'd be like, Joe Buffalo. And Joe is doing a lot of great work with like, youth these days in his community, and uh, the money that went from that, uh, that came from that painting is going to that. So it's like $3,000 that we were able to raise for that, so I'm really happy about that. That's what I'm most happy about with that show. Other than that, I'm really happy I was able to show some more recent work, um, which is great. And yeah, more shows to come. Can you spare me a coin or a Christian prayer?